the carbonation! Let's talk about that! Good mythical morning. Okay, here's a scenario. You've just purchased an ice cold soda from the vending machine, but the can took quite a tumble through that machine, and now you gotta do all the classic moves to avoid the fizzy explosion while opening it. There's the booty out technique, where you scoot your buns away from your reach. There's the crack and run, where you lightly crack the soda and then run away with a gentle scream. Ah! And my personal favorite, the... No, 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 Which does absolutely nothing. It's more of a prayer to the universe, but it feels good. Can't believe that one didn't explode at all. As you may expect, the internet has all kinds of answers on how to avoid this kind of CO2 catastrophe. But apparently, and you're gonna want to sit down for this. I am sitting down. The internet is full of lies. No. So let's shake things up a little bit to find out the truth. Shall we? It's time for... A shaken soda is such a disgrace. What's the best way to avoid this sticky bidet for your face? First things first, why does soda that's been shooketh gotta be messy like that? Well, we did a little boop -a -boop 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 research and discovered a thing or two about all that fizz that's trapped up in these cans. Yes, it turns out that all CO2 wants is to be free and to be a gas. But when it's trapped inside of a small pressurized space like a can, it can't be either one of those things. Nope. But carbon dioxide knows who she really is, and that's why she stays floating near the surface, just waiting to be released when that can is opened. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, is the most satisfying sound in the world. Oh. Did you just open that, or was that? No, that was Twinkie Fingers. Oh. And when you shake a can of soda and all those little CO2 bubbles at the top are moved to the sides. Oh, okay. So, once that can is opened, they come rushing back to the top, creating a sort of a traffic jam of carbonation which is likely to erupt all over your fancy new Gucci gloves and that is not Gucci. I've never seen you wear those. Because uh, I, I don't, I'm not around you without sodas. <laughs> and now, the two don't mix. Mix. Many lunchroom urban legends and internet experts disagree over which tricks and techniques best prevent this kind of explosion from occurring. And even some legitimate publications seem to have a tough time coming to a consensus regarding the actual science behind these alleged hacks. So today, our goal is to finally declare the actual best way to stop these sticky eruptions from ever happening again. And by the way, uh, if you wanna hear more about sticky eruptions, join us for Good Mythical Evening on October 28th. That's quite a plug. Welcome to the explosion. We are ready for anything, as you can tell from our apparel. Yeah. Now, the first thing we need to do is we want to determine which can of soda makes the biggest explosion. Yes, and so the Mythical Crew actually started with 10 popular brands of soda, and they determined through testing that these, Coke, Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and Mountain Dew, had the most potential. If you want to see that entire testing process, you should be a member of the Mythical Society, mythicalsociety.com. Uh -huh. Now, I'm told that Michaela has made a video for us to show the most scientifically consistent and controlled way to shake each of these so that we can compare them correctly. We like science. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so it's, yeah, it's kind of a shake weight thing and we gotta have the same number. So let's both grab a Coke and let's just go through these and we'll just compare them relative to one another. Okay, okay. One, two, two three, four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How that you, was pretty good. How did that happen? It was a double. Ooh, look what, you know what? Because it didn't pop. Mine didn't pop open. either. They were so shaken they wouldn't even pop open. Huh, well, that's a good thing. Let's move on to Pepsi. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. Oh. Now those opened all the way, and that was quite a, I mean, it wasn't as high of an explosion, but it was more, of, I think it was more of an explosion because they opened. This is so strange that what the Coke did, it's the same, I don't understand how that happened. I'm so confused about cans right now. Maybe we just got scared. Pepsi is our best candidate. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little less than the actual Pepsi when you go diet. I think Pepsi's I call that, winning. I, think I call Pepsi winning. actual Pepsi. Actual Pepsi, diet Pepsi. And Mountain Dew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Oh, I did 11, but whatever. <sighs> oh, nothing. That was underwhelming. I've got bad fingernails. You might have to be the opener in, in, uh, as, we, as we move forward. All right, so we have determined. We're going with Pepsi as the official, uh, not a sponsor, but it's the pride of the Carolinas and that, that's where we're from. And the most explosive can. Now, most people don't just shake up their sodas before they drink. Huh. I mean, some people do, but Speak you, for yourself. you don't associate with those people. I don't associate with those people. So what we want to do is we want to establish some more real-world scenarios for how you're usually dealing with shaky cans. Yeah, and there's actually only three of those. Three. A uh, can can roll around in a car. Mm -hmm. It can tumble down the treacherous path of a vending machine. Right. Or it can be tossed around the room from buddies at a barbecue or bridesmaid or bachelorette party. Those are the three ways that cans are shaking. <laughs> okay, so let's test uh, the car technique first. Yeah, just rolling around on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll roll you first. Okay. There it is. I'll roll you. All right. And then we'll roll each other? Yeah, sure. All right, so now, it's rolled around a little bit, and you're gonna... You're I'm gonna... using a knife technique to save my fingernails. All right, and let's note how explosive this is. Three, two, one! Whoa! I mean, we got a one for two here. Mine was a dud. It's completely open, and, and nothing but a little pool of Pepsi. I think it was my technique. For you and your knife. Let's try the next one, which is the tumble down the vending machine. Okay. So, I mean, maybe about this height. Pepsi, please. Okay. Okay, and that's all? Because you hear that kobada kobada kobada, and then it makes you kind of nervous, nervous, nervous. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. What? That was bigger. What? That was You're bigger. You're telling me, just, just ordering a Pepsi? I'm telling you, man, it's, it's the machine's problem. Hold on, but something about the way they designed those machines is better than what we did. Clumpada, clumpada, clumpada. I mean, no, look, no, we simulated that exactly. Look at the bottom of my can, man. Yeah, it hit pretty hard. But. Okay, and now the third scenario, which was what? Buddies at a barbecue. Bridesmaid party. Hey, hey man, I love this bridesmaid party. Man, I love being here to bridesmaid party. It was party cool to meet you at this bridesmaid party. I'm thirsty, can I have a drink? Yeah, man. Woo! Yeah. Hey man, I'm also thirsty, can I have a drink? Yeah, here's one. Oh, this is exactly what I just threw you, but different, that's cool, man. I actually think I want mine back. I actually think I want mine back too, I mean. When in Rome. We'll get a little bit further. This is a big bridesmaid party. Here we go. Whoa! Oh. Man! All right, so oh, shit! Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Oh. A, you he, get, he, did you see that? He's got a little miss. Man, this is a crazy uh, bridesmaid we, party. We Look a, at that. We need a new, we need a new can. Look. We need a new can. Okay, all right, forget that. How did I do? I don't even understand. Point this is it, the craziest party I've ever been to. Point it that way. Uh, it's like it's peeing on the other ones. Look at do, that. Do you want to uh, do the whole thing again? Yeah, just with yours though. Hey man, I'm in this party. Give me a drink. Yeah, I want the same drink you got, Simba. And you don't want it back. Yeah, you want it back. Oh. But I back. Yeah, still want it back. No, so that's the same. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. See, and mine had been delayed. I, I should have gotten a new one too. But again. That one wasn't as much as the second one, the was it? The dropping is the best. The dropping is dropping popping. Is the best. That's what we're gonna use. <laughs> Quick reminder, if you haven't heard, we're gearing up for the first ever Good Mythical Evening. This is a live ticketed event that will be very mythical, but also for mature audiences only. Uh -oh. uh, it's going down on October 28th. Tickets are on sale. Uh, starting today, so go to goodmythicalevening.com. Or is it going up? To gobble that up. Okay, um, now this is what we've been waiting on, okay? Uh, everything so far is leading to this moment of figuring out which technique can diminish the explosions. And everything that we're doing is based on the stuff that we've found on the internet. You know, people have all these theories about what will cause a drink to stop being carbonated so you can open it up. So we're gonna go through all the ones that we could find. Let's start with the tapping. You've heard about this. You get your fumbling with your can, and then, you know, just a little tap it's right a little on top. Right on the top's gonna take care of it. Now there's two different, and I just did three, but there's two different techniques for this. One is a little tap on the drinking hole, just like three taps oh, on the drinking hole. Well, I'll pick another can. And then the other one is tapping all around. And so I'm gonna do the around tap. You I'll, wanna do the, I'll whole, do the tap? whole tap? Three, <laughs> just three. And I'm gonna gra grab one from the back so as to not have influence that at all. So we're gonna drop it down the vending machine and then 
taking the least amount of time possible. Drop it, pick it up, and three, two, one, t well, <laughs> would be is tap, tap, and I got And I gotta use my knife. I'm, the, I'm like the crazy uncle who just Drop it, knife pick it party. up, tap, 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 open. Tap, tap, tap. I'm yeah. gonna say that. Up, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. And drop it. Whoops! Pick it up, and tap, tap, tap. Oh, look, hold on. What? My, look, my whole bottom, look, my whole bottom is busted, so I can't set it down. Three, two, one. Whoops! Okay, so and tap, 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 open. That's not great. Whoa! <laughs> that was not okay, great. Okay, all right, that didn't work at all. All right, the next one we try is not tapping the top in any formation, gentle or hard. It's tapping the sides. Which makes more sense because again, the whole thing we're trying to do is we're trying to get these bubbles dislodged and back to the top so they come out instead of the actual beverage. And don't raise it this high. Let's start it from here. That's more of a vending machine simulation height, I think. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Whoops! All right. And then tap, 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 and open. Ah, okay. We're all tapped out, so let's move on to the next technique, which is the old waiter's technique. If you've ever been talking to the old waiters, they're like, well, you know, what you would do is you would take it and you would uh. go upside down and then go back right side up, and you're gently coaxing the Where did bubbles you, what old waiter did back you talk to the to? top. Did you go to like Musso and Frank's and like talk to the, to the, the oldest waiter you could find? I got him on speed dial. Speed dial. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoops. You gotta pick that pick up. up. And then and just, turn, just turn it. And then turn, turn it again. And then. Come in here and. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Old waiters don't know Jack. I mean, <laughs> old waiters don't know Jack. We just made it worse. Man. We gotta go back to. I it sprayed all over my face. <laughs> I'm very excited about this one because this next technique is called Lady and the Tramp. And believe it or not, this is an actual award-winning technique from a seventh grade Maine science fair, which by the way, is the only kind of science fair that we're interested in. Ah. We have to take this thing, we have to put it in between our mouths. We have to both put our mouth on it. Should we I'm practice? Gonna, I'm gonna, no, I think we should do it in the moment. I don't know if my mouth goes around that. No, not yet. No, you don't have to do your whole mouth around it. Just put your mouth on it. Well, that's why I want to practice. Okay, so, well, see if you can put the whole thing in your mouth. I am interested now, just, just for I, my own entertainment. But I would like to hold it if I'm gonna do that. Okay, <laughs> just see if you can get your whole mouth around it. I don't think this is- Oh, I got a cramp. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh God! I can imagine oh God. some seventh grade what? main student. I, I got, oh! You need to rub it? I got muscles here. Oh! You don't have to put your whole mouth on it. Around it. You so put just... your mouth on it, ladies. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a low note, you do a high note. For how For long? five seconds. Okay. Uh, and the reason you do this is because some kid in Maine figured it out. And I don't know how he won an award. How hard is it to win an award in Maine? Not too hard, apparently. Let's do it up here, okay? Okay. We gotta do it fast. We gotta get in there, we gotta whoosh, fast. And count to five. Count to five. Can you guys count to five? Yes. But do it in a Maine Everybody accent. doesn't have to. All right, here we go. I'd like to order a Pepsi from this machine. Whoops! Oh! 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 Now let me tell you what just happened. Oh my gosh, it popped out. This is too, did it take a tooth out? Uh, did it? Did <laughs> it, it? It popped so hard. It smushed. It popped so it hard. It smushed my lip against my tooth. I'm afraid to go again. Okay, man. I think I hit the resonant frequency of the can, and that was the mistake. I hit a G, I hit a C. I mean, this time. see that thing right there. Throw it back, Michaela. <laughs> I felt it. Oh no! <laughs> I'm back in the bridal party. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Is that right? Stop, 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 stop it. What? Stop, what? stop it, man. Yeah. I'd like to drink this Pepsi from a vending machine. This is my last dollar. Whoops. Hold that. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Cheese. You didn't pop it right. I didn't pop it right. We gotta do it one. again. <laughs> I didn't pop it right. I'm sorry. I would like a beverage, Pepsi preferably, from this vending machine. Whoops! Found another dollar. Oh. All right, 
there you go. Oh, that thing, oh. man, that's all over the place. Oh! 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 Wow! <laughs> Sorry, man. That was a fountain situation. Uh, it was because it was bulbous. We need another one. That technique did not. Well, hold on. We gotta Guys, get the I, I, so he, th this I is a weird thing. Again. This is a weird thing. You've been doing this show for over 2,000 episodes, almost 10 years at this point. We put something on here that says the lady in the tramp where you got a hum and we made up a thing about a freaking science fair. You did the whole thing. You did it multiple times. It was all a lie made up by the writers. At what point, at, like, do you think at maybe 20 years, that's when that's when it's going to click? That Come on, Stevie. I believe in the children of Maine. I could have lost a tooth over this. Yeah, that's true. He's hurt. Look at my lip. He's hurt. Let's do so it So you're saying that won't work? I'd like to we have this prove Pepsi. prove to you that this will work. I'm going to share this with all the seventh graders from the middle school. Whoops. Yep. Here we go. Ooh. This one's the one. This one's the one. Yeah! <laughs> Last technique. Rhett talking about how much he loves science projects. <laughs> Simply waiting 30 seconds. You don't have to go to Maine and figure that one out. All right, so we got us a Pepsi here. So you got a 30 second timer for us? Here we go, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna order this Pepsi. Whoops! Oh, oh. oh. That, one, that one just, that one's open. I'd like a Pepsi from this vending machine, whoops! And time starts now. I kind of need to pee. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ha! It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Whoa, hold on now. Hold on now. I did. I do think it worked, though. I mean, it basically didn't spray. I didn't quite get it all open, but it didn't spray anywhere. So, you know what time it is. Hey, y'all. I'm Ben. And I'm Christine. And we just got married and are on our honeymoon here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Well, at least they're not lost. You know, you never know when you see people in a hammock next to a river. Well, maybe they are lost, but at least they have a hammock. Yeah. Well, I think they made it back. They made it to an internet connection. Click the top link to watch us judge which vintage Coca-Cola bottle is the coolest in history in Good Mythical Lore. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Join us on October 28th for the big one night only and mature audience only ticketed event, Good Mythical Evening. Get tickets at goodmythicalevening.com.